health authorities back in New Zealand are hoping the expansion of a regional rural medical training program into Taranaki today could form part of a long-term solution to doctor shortages in the provinces. Uh, Taranaki, for example, 18 year five medical students from Auckland University were given a taste of Taranaki life this morning when they were welcomed at Harwara Hospital. Last year, of course, we covered the doctor shortage in this region and elsewhere. Well, our Taranaki Whanganui reporter, Robin Martin, was there today as the new recruits rolled in. Taranaki, and in particular South Taranaki, has long-standing problems attracting and retaining GPs. The issue peaked last year when Pātia was without a GP for four months. In North Taranaki, there is also a looming crisis with more than a dozen sole-charged GPs nearing retirement age. It's hoped the launch of the Auckland University program will not only give the students a taste of rural practice, but also influence some to return to the province to work. The chief executive of the Taranaki DHB, Rosemary Clements, says the rural medical landscape is changing and careers in the provinces will not be so onerous in the future. The conventional model of being a GP, of being a specialist, is actually coming to a natural end. But, uh, people don't want to work the hours that they used, used to have to work as a GP um, in rural land. They don't want to be around for 24-7, they want to have a life as well. So it's about making, getting a model of care put together that will work for everybody. Ms Clements says the Auckland scheme piggybacks on the postgraduate rural hospital medicine training program which has been up and running at Hawara Hospital for about four years. And I see these 50 years as key, as seeing that there's a life that they can have, a lifestyle in Taranaki, and a life once they're trained in whatever they choose to do. They won't all come back, but if a proportion came back, that would be fabulous. The Auckland University's Vice-Chancellor Māori, Jim Peters, says the rural training programme had been a huge success in Northland and the Bay of Plenty, and he expected Taranaki would be no different. In the case of the Northland scheme, which is Pukawakawa, uh, over 20 of those past students are now back in the north as in medical uh, services or as doctors. So the benefit to the local community with the introduction to what rural life is like and how pleasant it is and how long term it's of value uh, is likely to be the, the, the same here. Mr Peter says the students will benefit from seeing a wide range of medical issues in one place. In the large hospitals there does tend to be a more specialised approach and that may not be to the students' advantage so early in their career. But when they're working in the rural context they see the total range of, um, of medical incidents and, and uh, the, the need for medical treatment. The students will each spend at least six weeks working in Taranaki and Aucklander Maria G is looking forward to the experience. Actually, unless you've been in these areas and you've met the people and you've worked with the people and you've had that kind of practical experience on the ground, it is very hard to feel connected to a space. And I, so I think this is very unparalleled in, in the sense of the various experiences we have as a student in terms of getting that kind of connection and kind of growing to love the place where you may want to work someday. Wellingtonian Brianna Wu admits to a little trepidation. I've been on holiday here a few times, um, so I really only know the touristy thing. And what most worries you, what most scares you about coming to Taranaki? Um, probably distance from friends and family and a totally new environment, so scary. But local lad Michael Hayton says the experience will be great for his fellow students. A number of the people that have come here um, are definitely from big places, Auckland and Wellington, Christchurch, and they haven't um, been to a small place, they haven't even been to Taranaki, so for them it's a huge opportunity to actually see what it's like to work and live here, and, and I definitely think it's important for them. A total of 34 medical students will work at Hawara Hospital this year, with the balance of their time being spent at Taranaki Base Hospital in New Plymouth. In Taranaki for Checkpoint, call Robin Martin Naho.